Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create the spring in variable size, length, and height. I will create two family in this tutorial. Once the first one finish, I will load it into the main family. I will use this data in the picture and create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open a new family and select the generic model template. To add the parameter, select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert a dimension and make equal. Insert the another dimension and add parameter for outer diameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert a dimension and add a parameter for pitch. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12.5 mm and create similar. Insert a dimension and make equal. Go to create and select the swept blend. Set the work plane and pick a plane. Select the reference level and open it. Sketch the patch. Draw the start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Insert a radius dimension. Select the dimension and add a new parameter for outer radius. Select instance and click OK. Select profile 1 and edit the profile in front view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and move circle tangent to the reference plane. Insert a radius dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for wire radius. Select instance and click OK. Select the profile 2 and edit the profile. Draw an ellipse on the upper reference plane. Select the circle and move the tangent to reference plane. Add the radius dimension and assign parameter for wire radius. Finish the swept blend. Go to create and select the sweep blend. Set work plane and pick a plane. Sketch patch and draw a start end radius arc. And lock to reference plane. Insert a radius dimension and assign parameter to outer radius. Select profile 1 and edit profile on front view. Select the ellipse and draw a circle. Select the circle and move the circle tangent to reference plane. Insert the radius dimension and assign parameter for wire radius. Align the circle tangent to reference plane and lock it. Select profile 2 and edit the profile. Draw a circle. Select the circle and move circle tangent to reference plane. Insert a radius dimension and assign parameter to wire radius. Finish the swept blend. Go to family type. Add formula for outer radius. The formula is outer diameter divided by 2. Click apply and OK. Check and play the parameter value. Parameter are working. Save the family in somewhere. To create the main family, open the new generic model. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 millimeters and create similar. 
Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add a new parameter for outer diameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add a new parameter for pitch. Select instance and click OK. Insert another dimension and assign parameter to pitch. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 150 mm and create similar. Insert a dimension. Select the dimension and add a new parameter for height. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert a dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to pitch. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to family type and add a new parameter for outer radius. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for outer radius. The formula is outer diameter divided by 2 and click apply. Add a new parameter for wire diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 10 mm wire diameter value as default. Add a new parameter for wire radius. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for wire radius. The formula is wire diameter divided by 2. Add formula for pitch. The formula is height divided by 6. Click apply and OK. Go to reference level. Insert and load in the spring per pitch family where you save from. After load into, you can find the family in project browser. Select and drag the family into reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Associate outer diameter to outer diameter parameter. Associate the pitch to pitch parameter. Associate the wire radius to wire radius parameter. Go to front view. Move the family up a bit. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. The parameter are working. Select the family and array to the next reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the array number and add a new parameter for number of spring. Select instance and click OK. Align to reference plane and lock it. Go to family type and add formula for number of spring parameter. The formula is height minus pitch multiply by 2 and divided by pitch. Check and play the parameter value. Parameter are working. Click apply and OK. Go to Crete and select swept blend. Set work plane. Pick a plane and open the reference level. Sketch patch and draw a start end radius arc. Lock to the reference plane. Insert a radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to outer radius. Select profile 1. Edit profile and open front view. Draw a circle. Make the circle is a half and lock to the reference plane. 
Select the circle and move the circle tangent to the reference plane. Insert the radius dimension and assign parameter to wire radius. Select profile 2 and edit the profile. Select ellipse and draw a circle on upper reference plane. Select the circle. Move the circle tangent to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and assign the parameter to wire radius. Finish the swept blend. Go to create and select swept blend. Set work plane. Pick a plane and open reference level. Sketch patch. Draw a start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Insert radius dimension and assign parameter to outer radius. Select profile 1 and edit profile on front view. Select ellipse and draw a circle. Select the circle and move the circle tangent to the reference plane. Align the circle tangent to reference plane. Insert the dimension and assign parameter to the wire radius. Select profile 2 and edit profile. Draw a circle and move the circle tangent to reference plane. Insert the dimension and assign parameter to wire radius. Finish the swept blend. Now let create part of spring at the another ending. Go to create and select the swept blend. Set work plane. Pick a plane and open the reference level. Sketch patch. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and assign parameter to outer radius. Select profile 1 and edit profile on front view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and move the circle tangent to the reference plane. Insert radius dimension and assign parameter to wire radius. Select profile 2 and edit profile. Select ellipse and draw a circle. Move the circle tangent to reference plane. Align the circle tangent to reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and assign parameter to wire radius. Finish the swept blend. Go to create and select the swept blend. Set work plane. Pick a plane and open reference level. Sketch patch. Draw start end radius arc and lock to reference plane. Insert radius dimension and assign parameter to outer radius. Select profile 1 and edit profile on front view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and move circle tangent to reference plane. Make the circle in a half. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert radius dimension and assign parameter to wire radius. Select profile 2 and edit profile. Draw a circle and move the circle tangent to reference plane. Insert radius dimension and assign parameter to wire radius. Finish the swept blend. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. Check in 3D view. OK, spring creation is completed. If you like this video, please click the like button. Thank you for watching.